I noticed this morning when I came out to check the SWR on my tram antenna, I use I usually do that every you know once a week or more um, daily when I have a new antenna to see if there's any changes. And when I came out today, let me show you here on channel one, the SWR is around two. And on channel 40, it's around two also. Now, earlier this morning, it was um, higher even. So I got to thinking we've had some really huge temperature swings during the day. We've been getting down to uh, freezing or below at night. And the high yesterday was around 70 degrees. So we're getting, you know, around 40 degree temperature differences. And I'm thinking that maybe some condensation is happening inside of the antenna housing and water might be building up a little on the connection, which could short it out and make the SWR higher. So I'm going to pull the antenna down and take a look at it. Right, I've dried it out. I'm looking at where it connects and it looks like they've given it space for water to drip out. But, um, well, let's hook it back up and see um, if drying it out has any effects on the reading. All right, here we are. We're all hooked up again. Let's check the SWR now that it's dried out. 1.1. On channel one. Now we're on channel 40 and we're at looks like about 1.2. So there you go. Looks like it was water condensation in the antenna tube. So looking at the temperature from yesterday, you can see it was almost 69 degrees. And looking at my weather station here, you can see this morning was around 28 degrees. So that works out to a temperature change of about 40 degrees. So that that appears to be, I don't know if that's a design flaw in the antenna or if that's something you can't really do anything about. But I guess what you're going to have to do is let the antenna dry out because, like I said earlier this morning, the SWR was probably about two and a half or three and it's started lowering once the antenna heated up and then when I, I I actually took a hair dryer to it and then when I reinstalled it the SWRs were back to pretty close what they were when I installed it in the heat of the day. So there you have it. Um, another consideration you might want to look at when you purchase the Tram 1499 if you live in an area with wide temperature swings. You know, I thought I was done with the video, and then I thought, okay, it's been sitting out there about 15 minutes. It's 41 degrees, and I thought just for the heck of it, I'd check it again. So if you look on channel one here, it's up to about 2.1. And on channel 40, we're up to about 2.0. So it definitely appears that a temperature a big temperature range has an effect on the SWR. And like I said, the only thing I can think of is condensation in there. Something's going on. I will probably send this antenna back because that's going to be pretty useless to me if temperature swings affects the SWR like that. So there you have it. I can't say if all the Tram 49 antennas do this, but um, this isn't going to be acceptable to me. And I think I'll go with a, a bigger antenna and give a test on that. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.